Now right side you can see Adam Smith, underline this uh, name Adam Smith, he is known as the father of economics in his book Wealth of Nations published in 1776, he has defined economics as the science of wealth. So according to Adam Smith, economics nothing but the science of wealth, how you are going to manage your wealth, how you are going to manage your wealth for the nation, for the development of nation, for the development of individual. So, economy is nothing but the so, um, science of wealth according to Adam Smith. He wrote a one book, Wealth of Nations, which was published in 1776. Now, children, we will see globalization of economy. Children, the word globalization means it is on the international level. The recent economic policies are taking the economy towards globalization. Globalization means building a world, econ world economy. Underline this line, children. Globalization means building a world economy. World economy is a borderless economy in which natural resources, profit, services, capital, labor and technology flow freely across borders of country. Globalization means aligning the country's economy with the world economy. There is free trade and all restriction on investment are set aside. Children, now with the liberal trading policy, we have already adopted globalization. Globalization is nothing but the give and take policy of the countries, the trading relationship of the countries. Now with the change time, now with the uh, linear or we can say liberal trading policies which is adopted by the different countries all over the world, globalization, globalization is done. That is very important for any country. That is why our country is also developing on the, we can say, with the help of foreign investment. That is very important. The word foreign investment means the multinational companies or the various uh, foreign companies, they are interested to have business with our country. So, that is foreign investment. They wanted to have investment in our country, which is very good sign that we, we are having this due to globalization, which is very important. That is with aligning with the world economy. Matlab world economy ke saath mein apan uh, trading kar sakte hai, apan uske saath mein ek apna level set up ho sakta hai. So, globalization is very important. So, now economies all over the world, they have adopted this globalization. Because if will they if will have they will have trading with various countries, so they will have more uh, they will attract more foreign investment. So that is very good uh, for the development of country. So globalization means aligning the country's economy with the world economy. So that means free trading without any restriction uh, on investment, which is very important without any restriction. So, you can see left side orange box, always remember economics is an important social subject. We use economics on a large scale in agriculture, trade, finance, administration, law and in our daily life. Economics holds a paramount importance on a social development of human. So, economic jo hai word that is very important and economics we use during our day to day life, agriculture, trade, finance, administration law and order law in our daily life so hamare daily day to day life mein jo economics hai ye word hamare day to day life mein hum log isko use karte hain because every day we are purchasing something we are having uh, uh, trading with um, uh, business companies we are investing somewhere so these word we are going to bank we are having banking facilities so this word economics is very important to uh, develop any nation, to develop for the development of any individual. So, the word economy is not new to us as we are using this word in our day-to-day -day life itself. Understood? So, this is globalization of economy.